gonna start with this Billy Porter? Where we starting? Girl, listen, it's it's it's, it's fact time. Where we starting at, Craig? Girl, let's go ahead and jump no, into this. No, 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 no. Where you want to start? Billy Porter is because I know you want to meet and potatoes her. I surely do. Um, let's start with Santana because that was kind of like on the list of earlier. Okay. Now I don't know anything about this. Well, you'll find out. You can you can quickly interject. Let's okay. go. Falsy Santana. Yeah. Don't look it up because you're gonna say something funny. Don't look it up. That's my dog. Don't look it up. Saucy Santana. So, the, the Saucy Santana. Oh, <laughs> That's your dog. <laughs> Hell no. Come on, man. No. Not this. This. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> the rapper. That ain't no rapper. That ain't no rapper. Stop it. <laughs> No, Nick, come on, dog. That was your roommate? <laughs> no, I am. That was your <laughs> Is that why you got the Tic Tacs now? That was your room? Oh, come on, dog. Nigga, nigga, Becky oh. turn the bitch up. <laughs> oh, come on. This the one. Oh, my God. Come on, this. This was your. This was your. <laughs> so, the, the saucy Santana. Oh, hell. <laughs> Oh, like cut the cameras off! Cut the cameras off! <laughs> hey, so so who else was on it? Uh, Tamar Brasson and Claudia Jordan. Uh, Tamar was there. Yeah, Tamar was there. <laughs> yeah. Come on, dog. Come on. I mean, they, listen, listen, listen. There was three. There was three. Three and a half. There was three and a half out there. <laughs> it was. It was three it, and a half. It was. I, 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 Wait, hold, hold on, hold, hold on. I have my own room, though. I have my own Nick, room. Hey, la ladies, no, no, <laughs> Nick. I'm sorry, Nick, because I seen it through the camera. Nick, you, you was hype. For, this is you. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, this is you, dog. Wait, That's wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> okay. That's your. Okay. Uh, I am. <laughs> nah, he cool as shit. I ain't gonna lie, he cool as shit. He funny. You'd have had a good time. No, no, don't don't throw that out there. <laughs> nah, don't throw that. Out. Nah, don't throw that out. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would it be? Hey, would it be like Meek Mills? <laughs> right. I need to go to Guyana. Uh huh. Hey, I need to raise. They call it. They calling him gay. He like, yeah, police report. <sighs> See, this is the kind of men that the women think that is that are real niggas. G now let's 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 dissect this before we listen to uh, uh -huh. Santana's response. This is the type of men that a bitch like that maggot hoe we was just talking about, Kenneth K. Mm -hmm. This the type of man that they think that's a real nigga, like, cause if if they are if they are anti fag or mm -hmm. anti gay or like they, they, they can't they, possibly they be. can't po yeah because and that and this is the mask that those types of men have been wearing. What is it, girl? This is the mask. That's right. That those types of men have been playing have been wearing in that ball for a long time. Because listen, drag queens, those kind of men dress in drag too now. Come it's on. not just your typical drag Explain. queen. You know what I'm saying? Because Don't let the comments pile up, so, some of these men are dressing in drag too, in disguise. They're in disguise as straight men. But to your point, those are the very ones that will be in Santana's inbox. Usually, that's how it usually works. Now, and here's the thing. This, click where it says new comments. Because I need to, you know, the day should have been in there earlier. Now, here's my thing with this, right? My things with this is... When you really dissect this, because we're doing a dissecting today, because okay. it's the lies. This name of the show is The Lies You Tell. Mm. So we sit here, right? And we looked at this and we saw these men over there. One man was like, This is my friend. But then he was, you can also see the influence that, yeah. that started to happen to him mm -hmm. when that other man was constantly clowning him. You know what I'm saying? The influence of. Right. You, you, that's your right. right. Hold on, man. Nah, nah. And he up there cackling. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take it back to Pierre earlier. 
That other nigga sat on the sofa across from, 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 from him mm -hmm. and tried to read him for being my friend. And he pulled it right, pulled the wool right over that hole and told that bitch, pull that thing right now so we can see your Adam's apple. I'm your friend too, nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. And you have to really, you got to look at, and you women, let me, let me talk directly to the women. You women are constantly fooled by this type of rhetoric. You're constantly fooled by this type of conversation. You're constant. You're you are in a constant, and you in, and you enjoy this because it makes you feel some type of way secure in your in in the type of man that you mm -hmm. like. I'm this. I'm secure with this man. The type of man that they're portraying to be. And because see, what happens is a lot of times women think that the telltale sign of a gay man is he got to be he he got to be he got to be given all of this, and he got to talk with that gay list. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know he got to. Mm -mm. That's not always, they come just like those ones you see in the video right there. Right. And so they don't see the maturity like Pierre sit over there and said, T.S. Madison is my friend. Mm -hmm. I don't went and ate at T.S. Madison house numerous times. I don't mm -hmm. been over T.S. Madison house. I done chilled over T.S. Madison house. I'm That's not, the kind of man you ain't got to worry you about. You don't have to worry about that. Because he's clear about who he is. Clear. And he's, and he's, he's clear about who skin. he is. He's clear about his intentions when yeah. he come around there. We, fr we friends. Yeah. You feel me? They don't switch up. Right. They don't change. Those men that were in that video, or those guys that were in that video, you bitch. they're the ones that won't even look a fag in the eye. Because they're worried about looking, or worried about seeing the reflection of themselves. And they're scared that the fag is going to be able to see themselves in them. Hi, y'all about Uh-huh. Physically now, or metaphorically? Both. <laughs> both of them. B-O-F-F. Now, here we go. Let's go. Let's do this right here. Hold on. Here we go. Let's do this. Every man ain't gay. That's right. And there are men that are that are that that hate gays for no apparent reason at all. Mm -hmm. But when you dig to the internal root of it, why? Yeah. Especially somebody that hasn't done anything to you. Right. Just like we got to the internal root of what Tasha K real pressure with me is, she wanna surpass me. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about her million followers that she got. She's infamous for being trash. My whole life was has been a blueprint for turning your life around. Her whole life is the blueprint of crash and burn. Whole life. So, I don't think that every man is, is, is homosexual or trans or trans or trans. I don't think that. I do not think that. And I think that sometimes when those men are acting out in that way, there's something wrong. They're hiding something or whatever. Mm -hmm. And here's what God does. You ready? What do he do? God gives, his, God gives them fags. They, 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 they have fag children. Right. Uh-huh. He blessed my dad. <laughs> he blessed your dad. Uh-huh. God gives them fags. God gives you homo. This is why I don't feel no type of way about y'all, y'all, y'all homophobic and, and transphobic men or women because God is gonna bless you with a fag. Everything you've done to me, God is gonna bless you with a fag. Already done to you because, and I say this with 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 my whole heart. One of your children, one of your children's children, somebody very close to you that you love dearly. Because what you need to learn from the lesson of a fag, and we're talking about FAG, and FAG can consist of being a lesbian, <laughs> that's a woman, uh -huh. you're going to bless you with that. Because in, in the whole retrospect of everything, God is, in his intention of giving you a fag, he's going to do that to teach you Come on, somebody. how to love. Right. There's a lesson in it for that you. That is his lesson to you. Because I don't think you ever really learn compassion until you're in a position of needing compassion. You know what I mean? Like until you've walked in someone, somebody else's shoes. But I want to circle back to something that you said too. One of the things, I had an epiphany one day. I think that some instances, not all, where you have men that are really homophobic and they just hate gay guys for no reason and you know, whatever. I've realized that in some instances, those men were molested as children by the same sex. And then they grew up and they have a disdain for all gay people because they, they, they hold the entire community responsible because of what one individual did to them. Right. Correct. And so we look at these types of, like, I, and, and we look at the, the disgusting 
commentary under the video on those blogs, which which I'm going to address those blogs after this. Oh, yeah, we coming. We look at the disgusting commentary on these blogs and all this stuff from all of these people who was like, you know, and well, let's look, let's let's hear uh, Santana's re mm -hmm. response to that. So, Gilby, we're going to make this real quick for you since motherfuckers act like they don't know what the fuck going on. I don't know what the fuck was funny when you talking to motherfucking Nick. You laughing. Oh, ha, ha, ha. He a homeboy. He a homeboy. He not a rapper. Bitch, I am a motherfucking rapper. That's how I make most of my motherfucking money, bitch. You better check in with your niece, your nephew, your grandma, your mama, bitch, your daughters. I don't know what the fuck you got. I don't know who the fuck you is. Bitch, tap the fuck in. Bitch, you can find a whole lot about Saucy Santana. Bitch, second of motherfucking all, I know you about to go jack your motherfucking dick to that twerk video because you pulled it up too many motherfucking times on the motherfucking camera for you to be so hee hee motherfucking ha ha. Bitch, you keep watching this ass and I know it's like motherfucking water. You'll enjoy that later. And motherfucking Nick, stop motherfucking playing on me, bitch. All that motherfucking giggling, get in the motherfucking field. About me. In so many words, in the in the sum it up in Santana's Florida Swain, bitch, you a punk. And fuck, nigga, if you was my friend, mm -hmm. I, I'm summing it up. Mm -hmm. And fuck, nigga, if you was my motherfucking friend, like you claim you's my friend, what in the fuck is you kidding with that nigga? Check that nigga. Right. Like Pierre, check that nigga sitting across from him with that turtleneck on <laughs> and those dentine ice chiclet teeth in her mouth. <laughs> what, what guy? <laughs> 